Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Today I want to talk to you guys for just a few minutes about fiber. Now I don't need to run down all the various health benefits of fiber. I might do that in another video, but I think most of you know at least a few of them and the basics of why you need soluble and insoluble fiber in your diet. But something I have not discussed before is what are optimal intakes or at the very least minimum intakes and why you shouldn't be using a fiber supplement to reach these if you're concerned with maximizing your nutrition and getting the most health benefits possible. Now, what I'm gonna tell most of you, it doesn't matter whether you're bulking, whether you're cutting, what sort of diet approach you use, I would recommend that you get a minimum of 10 grams of fiber of mixed types, a mix of soluble and insoluble, for every thousand calories you eat. That should be a good baseline minimum. So if you're cutting on 2,000 calories, then a minimum of 20 grams. If you're on 3,000, a minimum of 30 grams. So just use that as a baseline. And obviously 2,500 calories, you'd want at least 25 grams of fiber. Now this is one of the issues we run into. A lot of people, particularly people who are doing flexible dieting or if it fits your macros, and this is one of the criticisms of this type. People take it to such an extreme instead of just working in foods and knowing that they're, they're still reaching all their micronutrients and fiber and everything else. People will eat too much junk. They'll fit in too much food into their diet that is low in the other things that they need and simply count it as calories and macros and then try to supplement in their vitamins and fiber. Well, your problem with that is that while that might work in the short term for your body composition, it really isn't ideal for your health. And if you're having to supplement fiber in, then you probably have a bit too much protein in your diet, particularly fiber-free protein sources. You're probably eating way too much just straight lean meat and probably working in too many treats on a cut and you're not getting enough vegetables and stuff in your diet if you're needing a fiber supplement to hit those numbers. So what you probably need to do is up the vegetables. If you're on such low calories and your protein is so high, then you're gonna to need to eat a lot more fibrous vegetables to hit those numbers. And you're gonna to have to cut back a little on the extra treats that you work in or you're gonna to have to increase cardio to get your TDE up to do that. And the reason there is that fiber supplements are not the same as getting whole food fiber, mainly because they don't include the proper micronutrients and things that you need. If you're getting that minimum of 10 grams of fiber per thousand calories, you're probably getting a lot of micronutrient rich food. You're getting most of the vitamins and minerals you probably need in your diet. Now it's not guaranteed that you are, of course, but there's a much higher chance. And if you're getting those fiber numbers from whole foods and you still have calories left over, then odds are you can fill those calories with whatever you have left. I don't really care whether it's something people consider clean food or people consider junk food or whatever definitions you're using these days because you have surplus calories left at that point because you're getting enough micronutrient rich food that you're probably okay if your fiber numbers from your whole foods are actually hitting those numbers and you have anything left over. So hopefully that clarifies why I would say that you don't need to be using a fiber supplement. If you're not getting enough fiber from your whole foods, you need to add more high fiber foods to your diet. Because again, the foods very high in fiber per calorie tend to also be very, very high in vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients. And remember, multivitamins are still debated by the scientific community as to if they actually work or not. So if that is your fallback to just rely upon a fiber supplement and a vitamin to reach your micronutrient needs when you know you have a deficient diet, you may be shooting yourself in the foot. All right, guys, so that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you next time. But hold on, let me give you guys a bicep shot first.